All right, good morning, everyone. I am at my new home. It is Wednesday, the week before close. We close next Friday on this GL home. This is our second GL property. Let me just show you the front. So we are getting really, really close. We've got the beautiful landscape over here. Just recently, they put in the glass railing, really kind of at, at the punch list. And I'm gonna take you inside shortly, but I'm here to meet a glass company that will be installing glass doors in the guest bedrooms and our boys' bedrooms. Instead of taking the option with GL for them to do frameless, we're gonna be doing it on our own. It's a little cheaper that way. I'm gonna meet the gentleman here, but when I meet him, I wanna show you what the house looks like right now and what we're gonna be doing with it post-close. So again, we close next Friday, but thanks for coming along with the journey. Uh, we appreciate all the support. Subscribe to the channel, baby. All right, so let's start with the garage. Before we even, you know, we close next Friday and sometime thereafter, we're gonna be doing the epoxy floor. If anyone has seen my videos, they'll see in our old home, we had the beautiful epoxy floor. It just makes it look more beautiful. We're also doing the cabinetry in the back for good storage. And the company that we use is Premier Garage. There's a couple companies over here that do it, but frankly, the best one, in my opinion, is Premier Garage, a professional. They're a little expensive, I'll be honest. A little expensive, but their, their work is really, really beautiful. All right, coming into the, the house, this room right here is gonna be my wife's office. We're probably gonna build that out sometime thereafter, but we took a credit on the floor and we're putting our own floor in. So as soon as we close, like just days after we close, we're gonna have our guy come in and do the floor the way that we want it to be done. We just, you know, they have very nice choices, but my wife being an interior designer, she had other options. This is what come, this countertop on this island is what comes with the house. We will be taking this countertop out and putting our own slab in, not only on the island, but also on, on the countertop over here, and we'll be doing our own backsplash. So as soon as we close, that also will be happening. So this is the living area. Eventually, we'll probably put a little fireplace going across the bottom. We'll build this area out a little bit. On the stairs, you could see they got this beautiful color that they put in. It's like a beigey gray, and it's really, really pretty. But what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be taking this out, taking that railing out all the way up to the loft there, and we're gonna be putting our own design. It's gonna basically be a wood capped piece and the wood is gonna have a similar stain to this here. Going into the guest bedroom, today we have a vendor with the glass company, and I'll bring that to you when he gets here, that will be doing, giving us a quote on a frameless. Obviously this is framed but we will be doing frameless, and what we typically like to do is the barn door, much like this is a barn door, and the reason why we like that is because if you have a door that opens, it'll hit the toilet bowl, it's already a small bathroom, you don't wanna open that up, but you keep that barn door, and we're gonna get the hardware to be consistent with the finish of the uh, hardware here on the sink. So that's one of the bathrooms that we're gonna be getting a quote for for the sliding glass door. So as I come up the loft here, you could see they put all the hardwood already in here and they're just kind of doing some finishing work, punch list type work. This is where the boys will have their sitting room and eventually we're gonna build out that wall as well. The woodworker we use, the mill worker we use is, is a company called LMR and they're fantastic. Awesome, awesome company, LMR. This is Joseph's bathroom and we're gonna be getting a quote for this again. This is a framed door and we want frameless. Again, we'll go with a, the barn door, not the pull, because if you get the pull, it's either gonna hit against the toilet bowl or the countertop here, or it's gonna hit against this wall. So we, are, we really want the frameless. And really when you have that frameless, it really shows off the beauty of this tile that my wife picked from GL Homes. This is Alexander's bedroom, and same thing here. 
We're gonna be getting a quote today for frameless. The sliding doors here, so. And you can see we took their toilets, and what we really like about the toilets here is this, this skirt. It's easy to clean. Some of the toilets have all these intricate designs and it makes it much more difficult to clean. Look how easy this is to clean when you just wipe this down. And it also has, of course, that modern vibe to it. Take a look here. This is the balcony. You know, Alexander gets to come out to his little balcony area. You have this beautiful glass railing, really modern feel to it. So, um, of course, there's construction in the community right now, but as the construction dies down and we settle into our life here, it'll be a nice kind of springtime, wintertime balcony for us to come out on and spend some time. All right, so this is the backyard, everyone. I mean, my goodness, look how pretty this backyard is. We have the water in the back here, which really has a nice soothing vibe to it. We will eventually be doing a pool here. So it's really, really nice that what we're gonna have is we're gonna probably have a summer kitchen that comes here and we have uh, you know plumbing items we need to allow for the, the summer kitchen that's probably gonna come here. And then it's gonna wrap around here. And of course the pool will be back here. So if you're in the pool area, the summer kitchen will be right here and there'll be a return there and then this whole entire base will be extended with different tile of course or different outdoor pavers or stone and you know people that are could sit here on some stools while they're talking to the cook or the or the griller and it could just be a whole outdoor experience so we're excited about that got to be careful of alligators over there but that's the master bedroom window. It's really nice when you wake up, you could, you could look out to see the water. You can see they got the, sconce, the outdoor sconces going right now. Look how pretty and modern. Everything's looking fantastic so far. There's just some, some last minute touches they have to do. Because of the supply chain issues, the refrigerator that we wanted was not in. So they called us and basically said, hey, look, this is what we have. We have a Miele. Um, so we decided to go with the Miele. You got your freezer and you got your fridge here. Really nice kind of cabinet depth, which I love. Some of these refrigerators pop out and it's just very unattractive. I like that it's cabinet depth and keeps the, the modern look. And this is the master bathroom. It's almost done. You could see that they still have some, some items to do here. It's, it's not gonna be tile. It's gonna be consistent with the cabinetry here. So um, they do have some, some items left to go there. We also will be replacing this toilet bowl and, and doing something you know, to our liking. This is the master bathroom shower. Um, as you can see, this is frameless, which is really nice. Huge, huge shower. Look how big that shower is. Super excited about that. All right, so that's what the house is looking like. We still have a little bit more work. I'm gonna go check outside to see if this vendor is here so I could get these measurements and go to work. You know, we want frameless, right? like you've done for us. We want barn door. Mm -hmm. Because you know, if you pull it open, it, it, it hits here. The company you work with is CFG Shower Doors and Closets. We've worked with these guys in the past. They do fantastic work. Yeah. They are efficient. They're inexpensive, and they get the job done nicely. I'll remove it so I could, and I'll have someone replace the tile. You just give us lead time. What what is the lead time? Right now it's four to five weeks. Four to five weeks. That's not bad. Yeah. That's not bad at all. All right, YouTube. So we're going to be getting a quote for the shower glass doors in the three bedroom. We're getting closer, we're getting closer. Thanks for coming on the journey with us. We still have a lot of work to do. I'm gonna bring it all to you, but just so you're aware of the company that we're using for the shower glass enclosures, right there. CFG Shower Doors and Closets. They're, I believe they're in Boca Raton and that's their phone number 561-989-8373. They've always done good work for us and we appreciate their work.